Good morning. The St. Mary community extends a warm welcome to those who are visiting for this celebration of the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. If you wish to follow the Mass in the Missalette, you can find that beginning on page 7. The intention for today's Holy Mass is for Albert Tiemann. Please take a moment to silence all cell phones and electronic devices. I now invite you to stand and join in singing our processional hymn. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to
us by the Holy Spirit, with her to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and reading from the Book of Wisdom. The night of the Passover was known beforehand to our fathers that with sure knowledge of the oaths in which they put their faith, they might have courage. Your people awaited the salvation of the just and the destruction of their foes. For when you punished your adversaries, in this, you glorified us whom you had summoned. For in secret, the holy children of the good were offering sacrifice and putting into effect with one accord the divine institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks. to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of those not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place 
that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and maker is God. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age, and Sarah herself was sterile. For he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man himself, as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the sands on the seashore. All these died in faith, they did not receive what had been promised, but saw it and greeted it from afar, and acknowledged themselves to be strangers and aliens on the earth. For those who speak thus show that they are seeking a homeland. If they have been thinking of the land from which they came, they would have had opportunities to return. But now they desire a better homeland, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son, of whom it was said, Through Isaac descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. The word of the Lord. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not be afraid any longer, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your belongings and give alms. Provide money bags for yourselves that do not wear out. An inexhaustible treasure in heaven that no thief can reach, no moth destroy. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. Gird your loins and light, light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen. I say to you, he will get himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is a faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is the servant 
whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly, I say to you, the master will put the servant in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an hour unknown and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. The servant who knew his master's will but did not make the preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his mother's, his master's will but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This liturgy of this Sunday, and even the liturgy of last Sunday, is inviting us to set our hearts on the things of heaven, to get ready for what is ahead for us. Since we know the day we go, we leave this earth, we are not taking anything with us. And so, for us to realize that all the toil, the anxieties that we have gone through were for nothing. So, it means that from now, we need to stop investing on things on earth, thinking what's the value uh, of the market, of the stock market, but to probably prepare ourselves for the long-lasting stock market in heaven. And for that investment, we need to take advantage when there is some need in front of us that demands of our money, of our effort. Because some people will say, well, those that need, they can work. Let them work for what they need. It's not my uh, business to attend other people's need. I've worked hard, let them work hard. It's their business. Well, if that is um, our attitude, it means that our heart has become very hardened. And that is a problem when our anxiety, when our mind is only fixed in accumulating, in hoarding money, the greed that can take possession of our hearts, of our minds, as to neglect the needs of others. And these needs of others are really our way of investing. And as well a reminder that money, possessions, goods given to us, no, we're only administrators of these goods. They were given as a gift. They do not belong to us. They're here today. Some people will have more. Some have less. But one day we'll go and we are taking nothing with us. Because these things we uh, cherish so much, we think they are valuable. In heaven, the day we go, they are not. And so, how strong is this drive for the future? for safety, to be insured, what money can do, in which way money and possessions can control our life, our blood pressure so much. And thinking on this um, comes to mind Gollum from uh, the Lord of the Rings. You know that this man, that eventually he, he became nothing. His mind and even his body got twisted, changed completely for the anxiety of possessing this ring and not just having the ring but the anxiety of being freed from that ring because he knew that was controlling him and reducing him to nothing to lose himself to lose what he's meant to be and this is what happens with the things this world is making us look for chase so really, let us allow the Lord to transform our heart, to desire to be free, free, the freedom that the church, through the gospel, 
is given us so that we can be ready with nothing, with no strange attacks, attach, no attachments to anything on this earth, share what we have, and live in a constant dependency, relationship with the Lord, in prayer, in our daily life, with our actions, with our words, believing that these promises, this life the Lord is inviting us to, is going to happen, is going to be fulfilled. Hence, the second reading was speaking about the faith of Abraham, of Sarah. They did not know what was ahead, but they trusted. And only a heart that is healed can trust. Because in our life, the sins we get into, the experiences we go through, make us disbelieve easily, distrust easily. So let the Lord really heal our heart so he can heal all our relationships, even with money, even with what we have, and really prepare ourselves for the things of heaven. Look forward to have a treasure in heaven that no one can steal, that nothing can really make it disappear. are hoping him and wait upon his kindness, we are confident that he hears our prayers. For Pope Francis and all church leaders, that they may be blessed with wisdom and holiness and always be open to the ways in which the Holy Spirit prompts them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders in government, that they may work to uphold the protection, dignity, and common good of all of God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are facing situations of violence, oppression, and persecution, that the outstretched arms of Christ would comfort them during their times of trial, trouble, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. For the grace to see every human being as a child of God, regardless of race, language, or culture. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those called to priesthood and consecrated life, that they will have no fear in responding to Jesus as he calls them to trust in him and his will for them. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our St. Mary family may keep watch and work faithfully toward the day of the return of our heavenly Master. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the hope of rising again, may they see God face to face. And for those among us striving for holiness, may, we, may they receive God's grace and blessings. We pray in a particular way for Albert Tiemann, for whom this Holy Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, we ask you to hear the prayers we offer you today. Deepen our faith as we journey towards our home with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Christ is yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord for the grace of the Lord is for our Lord and We please, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right to give you thanks. Truly just to give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in an approachable light, yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so with you in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we to confess your name in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we hear. rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, the Lord, we humbly implore you, may the same Spirit graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished, by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Earl, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine people, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So for each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord and Lord, 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 Lord,
and confirm us in the light of your truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We have some announcements before you go. Please remember in your prayers the repose of the souls of the following diocesan priests. Father Bill Fosner and Father Mike Gribble, who have passed away late last week and in this week. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. The registration period for religious education classes for the 2022-23 school year is quickly coming to a close and will end August the 6th, which was yesterday. Registration is for our Catechesis of the Good Shepherd program for children, ages 2 to 6 grade, as well as our Confirmation Preparation program for students 7 and 8 grade. We are also looking for volunteers to help out with these programs. 
so to register as a student or as a volunteer or to learn more about our religious education program program please visit our website or call to the parish office please join us for a homecoming celebration on sunday august 28th starting with the mass at our grotto 11:30 a.m pray that our grotto is finished because it hasn't been built all everything is not done yet but the Lord will allow it to happen, so we can have Mass there on the 28th. Raise, pray, intensely. And uh, after Mass, so we have a celebration, food, games, and other entertainment. So invite everyone that day you are not allowed to cook in your kitchen. You can't enter in your kitchen that day. Come and eat here. Food will be for free. Lots of food for everyone. So. That will be Mass at 11.30, the Grotto, and then um, food, games, and entertainment. So, we will not be celebrating 9 a.m. Mass. So, 28th Sunday, there is no 9 a.m. Mass, there is no 2 p.m., and there is no uh, 5.30 p.m. The only Mass will be is the 7.30, I think, and the 11.30 a.m. Starting the weekend of September 3 and 4, uh, going forward, the 5.30 p.m. Sunday Mass will be celebrated at 5 p.m. instead. So we've, we've moved it up five, uh, half an hour earlier. So instead of 5.30, our Sunday evening Masses will be at 5. After Masses, today, this morning, the ashes will be taking up the monthly exit collection for St. Vincent de Paul Society. Your contributions support the society's effort to provide assistance to our neighbors in desperate need. So if someone you know is in need, please contact the St. Vincent de Paul helpline number listed in the bulletin. Let us really share what we have to those in need. Today, the ashes will have a little collection box there. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a nice day.